What's up everyone and welcome back to the comms channel. Today's video we're going to cover one of the best budget packet radio setups for bass or mobile in my opinion. You can also use it as a digipeter which is what you're looking at here. We've been using one of these as a remote off-grid digipeter and it's been a great performer so far. So hang around and we'll learn more about it and how you can get set up with one. Okay, I'll be back We're approaching a restricted area. Restricted area is one mile west. If you're looking for a great budget packet radio setup, the TYT 9000D, in my opinion, is one of the best out there. We've been using one of these with a DigiRig and Raspberry Pi running Direwolf at a remote off-grid site with some elevation. It's been doing really well for us. I'm planning on doing another more in-depth video on the Digipeter setup and how you can do one of your own in another video series. But for this video, we'll just be focusing on the TYT 9000 and what you need to do to get it doing packet radio. Now the TYT 9000D is actually a clone of this radio, the Linco DR135. Linco also has versions of this radio for the 220 band and 440 band which TYT also makes their clone for those bands as well. For this video, I'm actually using the 220 version, and we're using the 2 meter version at the Digipeter site. Now, if you look at the back of the Alenco here, you'll notice that there is a DB9 serial port in the back of it. This is because this radio is ready to be hooked up to a TNC out of the box. However, even though the TYT9000 is a clone of the Alenco, it does not have the serial port in the back. But it does have the spot for one, and luckily, even though it's missing the DB9 port on the back, the internal audio and data connector is still present, and there's a few really easy options to add the external connector. Which option you go with will depend on your setup. Now, option one, I've not done this myself, so I won't be covering that in this video, but I will include a link to this page with instructions on how to add the DB9 connector to the TYT9000, just like on the back of the Alenco. Now, this page shows the connection to a Raspberry Pi, but you can skip to the TYT9000D connector installation part, if that's not your application. This is the better option for those that may be using one of the older style TNCs or have another application that uses DB9. In my case, since I'm using the Nucleo TNC and TNC4, I've gone with option 2. Since I'm using the Mobile Link to Nucleo TNC and TNC4, I've gone with this option that adds a mini DIN 6 pin port to the back of the radio. A small company named RPC Electronics makes a mini DIN packet adapter specifically for the TYT9000D. And since I'm using mobile linked products, I'm able to use the mini DIN 6 TNC cable that they make to connect the TNC to the radio going this route. If you're going this route as well, head on over to the RPC Electronics page for their TYT9000D packet adapter. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see two options. Unless you happen to have one of these wiring harnesses laying around, you'll likely need to get the package with the packet adapter and wiring harness. Once the packet adapter and wiring harness arrive, you will need to solder the harness to the adapter yourself, but it's a really simple soldering job and only requires soldering on four spots. Here's a picture of one already completed showing which color goes where and also how they map to the TRRS connector for additional info. But you really only need to just focus on which color goes where on the board for soldering. Since you only need to solder four out of the six wires, you'll be left with two spare wires, the red and orange. You could cut those or even solder them to the remaining two spots labeled RX12 and Squelch on the packet adapter board, but I just decided to heat shrink the ends for potential use later on.
After you've soldered the wires and buttoned up the unused wires, you can now open up the radio and feed it through the back like so, and then connect the internal connector. Now the connector on the wiring harness isn't an exact match, so you do have to carefully push it in there, but it will be pretty snug. The packet adapter unfortunately doesn't come with screws, but you can use two of the four screws that you use to take apart the radio to secure the packet adapter to the back. After that, you can now close the radio back up with the two remaining screws. You may want to put them on the radio at these spots to secure it better. Once you got everything buttoned up, you can now hook up your mini DIN 6 TNC cable from Mobile Linked to the packet adapter on the back of the radio and plug the TRRS end to the TNC. And there you have it. You're now ready to do packet radio with your TYT9000D. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel to follow along with up and coming videos. Thank you all and have a good one.